Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to update uh, SQL Server 2022 with CU11. So recently we got a ticket uh, with one customer uh, that uh, we need to update uh, like uh, with the CU11. Uh, so that I am going to share my experience here and like uh, so before patching that we had the time was scheduled when we need to patch and everything so that the infrastructure team will take the OS level snapshot or the before proceeding to 15 minutes before like we need to like drop that to the email they will confirm that we have taken the OS level backup you can proceed with the upgrading of SQL Server okay uh, right now before proceeding that we need to uh, drop this kind of message in the outlook and we need to save it okay to be handy uh, like uh, uh, like that or we already downloaded that uh, share respect to share file our customer will share that file into one uh, location and once you uh, log in take the RDP from jump server to that server okay and so you need to uh, take the we need to uh, like uh, update the C, uh, like instance sql server dev 2022 okay so now you go to the respective instance and now go to the respective instance here and go to programming files and here i'm having latest version now you click here so sql server has been released on 11th date and click on that okay so kb article 325659 okay so there are known issues and but there could there somewhat be and totally we are having 16 fixes in this issue okay so don't worry about that so known issues these are it does not mean that there are nothing but they are so some good somewhat it could be there but microsoft unable uh, to find okay as of now okay so later it can be find anything okay now go to that exe file and right click on that and select run as administrator so proceed to yes so now the setup file unwrapping the files okay once it is done unwrapping the wizard will get pop up Check the box that I accept the license and terms and okay proceed to next. Here you need to this all this instance has all been patched with this okay but right now I want to patch with this thing okay SQL dev 22, 22. See in the real time you might find only one uh, but this uh, this in my personal laptop so right now check the box that you which for each which instance that you need to update okay select that next upgrade so it will take time uh, like uh, my system was configured on ssd so uh, uh, mostly it will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes Yeah, it is been uh, done. Just close this window or you can take the snapshot. Okay, now uh, restart the instance and for the once it is done that uh, installation of uh, like upgradation, you need to restart. It's the best practice. 
so like that once it is done uh, just uh, refresh it so it got updated to the latest one and uh, so if you have databases you can just expand this so that uh, you can make sure that you can confirm that all the databases are came online okay so now open the snap snip tool and you just uh, take this snapshot and you can pay come here and you can paste it or otherwise once it is done you can make sure to highlight this thing uh, now uh, so we have instance uh, we have instance uh, upgrade right down the uh, scale dev 2022 instance to the CU11 as per schedule. We have restart the instance after installation. Uh, the instance after installation, the instance. Okay, keep that. After installation, the instance and all the databases are in online. Please find the snap for the same. So you can write that like that uh, before patching, or you can type. Build build a version before patching, or you can copy build a version after patching. So, and you can keep draw the box drag the box so that it will look somewhat good okay so he, sometimes email compassing also will uh, uh, kindly check uh, and you need to write that kindly check and let us know if any issues and uh, uh, thanks thanks and regards and harsha and your uh, signature something blah 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 okay so you can drop an email and you can send to the uh, to the team what i mean dls and respect to and the signature ticket number everything so ticket number uh, like subject like if you want status resolve or done or otherwise not required you can have the taken number it's all up to you how the format you used to follow okay just send that then your job is done open the ticket and you can add billing 30 to 45 minutes i hope uh, you may like this video thank you bye